Welcome to the best of Notre Dame football from the 1970s. Today's game is the great 1975 contest between the Panthers of the University of Pittsburgh going against the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And now let's join Lindsey Nelson and Paul Horning. I'm Lindsey Nelson on a beautiful football afternoon here in Pittsburgh. The Fighting Irish have won seven games, they've lost two. Pittsburgh has won six, lost three. We have a big crowd, including a great many bowl scouts who are here to extend an invitation to the winner of this very important football game. Now here's Paul Horning. Thank you, Lindsey. And Coach, Lindsey mentioned bowl scouts. There's many of them here. And I noticed some people upstairs with green jackets from the Cotton Bowl. There's rumor that if Notre Dame can win this football game today, you'll be going to Texas. Well, Paul, as you know, as a former player, that uh, really our, our players and coaches have tried to divorce that from our mind. Uh, we, we're playing a, a great football team here today, but we're more concerned, Paul, really uh, playing a great game for our school and for our own pride. And then whatever develops, uh, we'll, we'll develop. Uh, is there any similarities uh, like Notre Dame going against Southern Cal with the great Ricky Bell? You've got to go against Tony Dorsett, one of the great runners in the country. Well, I don't think that I can take anything away from Tony Dorsett. I would say this, I feel that our defense is more healthy today than it was against Southern Cal. Or do I wish to use that as an alibi for Southern Cal? Uh -huh. well, I, I think it's just going to be a, a heck of a good football game, and uh, I'm just happy to be part of it. Good luck, Coach. We'll be talking to you after the ball game. Okay. We'll start today's game right after these messages. <laughs> Pittsburgh won the toss elected to receive, and so Notre Dame will kick off right to left, dropping back deep to receive it. Gordon Jones and Elliot Walker for Pitt. And Dave Reeve puts it downfield. Into the end zone, across the end line. Reeve's kickoff. A touchback will be brought up, put in play first to 10 at the 20-yard line. A bright, sunny day and a crisp day. There was snow in Pittsburgh yesterday. Artificial turf here, of course. Coming out onto the field now to run the attack is Matt Cavanaugh, the quarterback. Cavanaugh and Robert Haygood have alternated. Cavanaugh's a sophomore from Youngstown, Ohio. 19 for 37 forward passing, 51.4%. Three interceptions and six touchdowns. Tony Dorsett's 33, Elliott Walker is 34. Cavanaugh's going to pass on first down. Right is tight end, Jim Corbett incomplete. He's wide open too, Lindsey. All he had to do, he had plenty of room to throw the football against the grain. The little fake rollout right and the big tight end came left against the grain. It was wide open in the flat. It would surely been a first down. Kavanaugh reconvening the huddle now. Tony Dorsett has gained 1,116 yards. He has averaged 6.3 yards per carry. Elliot Walker, the other running back. Kavanaugh with the option and the pitch now. Dorsett took it and ran out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Randy Harrison ran Dorsett out of bounds at the 33, first and 10 on a 13-yard pickup. Uh, got a good block by the other remaining back, Elliott Walker. Also, good option running by the quarterback, Kavanaugh. He forced the play of the defensive linebacker. And the first down. Rodney Clark, number 22, is the flanker, part of the left side. Gordon Jones, 24, is the split end of the right side. Jim Corbett, 81, is the tight end. Kavanaugh keeps it. And on a keeper. Kavanaugh's pulled down by Doug Becker at the 40-yard line. He picked up seven yards on the play. It'll be second and three. The front four for Notre Dame. Ross Bounder, 89. Steve Niehaus, 70. Jeff Weston, 74. Willie Fry, 94. The linebackers, Jim Stock, 48. Bob Golick, the freshman in the middle, 55. Doug Becker right outside, 43. Mike Banks at strong safety. Randy Harrison at free safety. Luther Bradley, 20. And Tom Levinsky, 26 on the corners for Notre Dame. And it's Dorsett going. Dorsett to the 50. Outside to the 45 40. Tony Dorsett turning it on. Luther Bradley trying to cut him off. Bradley pulls him out of bounds at the three yard line. 57 yard run by Tony Dorsett. Lindsay, two, two years ago as a freshman, he set the all time record rushing against Notre Dame. Here it is, right off tackle. A very good cut here off the left. Breaks it back to the right side. Going to pick up 57 yards on this carry. As I said, he picked up 209 yards rushing as a freshman against Notre Dame, a record. And he almost gets into the end zone. Luther Bradley gets the stop. So now it is first down and goal to go at the three. Rodney Clark to the left side. 
Gordon Jones to the right side. And uh, they're asking for quiet now so they can hear the signal. So the referee, Paul Berth, here this afternoon, susp suspends play for the moment. Well, Dorsett ranks seventh in the country in rushing, Lindsay. He's averaging about 123 yards rushing a game. He's picked up 1,100 yards on 177 carries. They come out in an eye formation. Walker ahead of Dorsett. Dorsett's the tailback. Davenant's going to roll and head for the corner. Can he turn it? He gets in for the touchdown. Davenant took it in. Davenant, good running quarterback, fought off the tackle by Doug Becker, the linebacker on the right side. Let's take a look. You're going to see Doug Becker here have a shot at Kavanaugh. Good block there and a good fake. Now, Becker is one-on-one -on -one with the quarterback. Looks as if he can stop him. A good straight arm, and Kavanaugh gets in. So the Pitt Panthers have scored early. They have a conversion attempt coming now, and Carson Long is in to attempt it. Ten points after. He is 28 for 28. He's had no problem at all. Larry Swider, the punter, holds for him. Ryder puts it down, Carson Long boots it, and it's good. So as they come back up the field, it is Pittsburgh 7 and Notre Dame nothing. Carson Long will kick off for Pitt now, and he's spotting the ball on the hash mark on the left side. He can spot it anywhere between the hash marks on the 40. Deep for Notre Dame, Terry Urich number 40 down, not number 21. High end over end kick. Urich is waiting. He gets it to seven. He's to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Breaks outside, 35, 40. And Urich with a fine return. He's finally pulled out at the 42-yard line. Rodney Clark downfield to make the tackle. First and 10, Notre Dame. They have the ball in their own territory, but in excellent field position. Now it's spotted near the 43. Venerable Pitt Stadium packed and jammed here this afternoon. Pittsburgh and the Fighting Irish. Rick Slager is the Notre Dame quarterback. Al Hunter did not make the trip. He has a hip on it. Jerry Urich, Jerome Evans, and Mark McLean in the backfield. Slager has it. Notre Dame's going to throw on first down. Intended. Intended for his tight end, Ken McAfee. It'll be second and ten at the 43-yard line. Each team this afternoon came out throwing. James Wilson got his hands on the football defensive left cornerback that time. Notre Dame, of course, loves to go to their big tight end, Ken McAfee. He leads Notre Dame in receiving with 19 receptions on the year. They come out in a wing right. Mark McClain is the wing back. Second down and 10 yards to go. Slager, the quarterback. Here's it up to Terry Urich. And Urich gets up to the 47-yard line. He was stopped by Jeff Delaney, a freshman strong safety from Upper St. Clair, Pennsylvania. Delaney. And a four on the play is third and six now for Notre Dame. Pittsburgh leading by a score of seven to nothing. There's Kavanaugh, who scored the touchdown for Pitt. And a wing left. McLean pulled in motion. On a reverse, it's Urich back to the inside. He's got the first down. Urich has got the first down. Stopped by Arnie Weatherington. Just outside linebacker from Miami, Florida. We move to further action with Notre Dame still in possession of the ball. We have 10 minutes, 14 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. We're at Pitt Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it is artificial turf. Wayne is a wing back right. Yurik and Jerome Heavens are the running backs. Yurik in motion. And Slager still has the ball, and Slager is pulled down at the 31 by Randy Cousins and Randy Holloway. Cousins played the option well. He did not give Slager time enough to force the option. Watch this. Takes to the fullback, and right away, Cousins is on him from ground level. He did not give Slager a chance for the pitch. On fourth down, Dave Reeve is going to attempt a field goal now with a lot to hold it. It will be a 48-yard attempt. It is down, and the boot is good. The longest field goal of the year by Dave Reeve is the longest field goal so far. He is now 9 out of 12 in the field goal department. 
Coming back up the field, it is Pittsburgh 7 and Notre Dame 3. Dave Reeve will kick off now for Notre Dame. Elliot Walker and Gordon Jones are deep to receive it for Pitt. Gordon Jones is waiting. One yard deep in the end, but he drops the ball. Can't find the handle, slips as he starts out. Fumbles the ball. He fumbled the ball, and who got the football? Notre Dame got the football at the five-yard line. Gets a big break here. Gordon Jones just cannot find the handle on it. Right here. He picks it up in. A little slip there. Gets hit. And I think that's Jim Wilder who really made the hit. Causing the fumble. Notre Dame's got it back at the five. I think it was. Well, let's see. Steve Arsini. That's what it was. Steve Arsini recovered the fumble. So it's first and goal now at the five-yard line. Notre Dame on the wing right. Give it to McLean, and McLean powers inside the five just for a yard as the pit defense was led by Arnie Wetherington. This telecast is presented by the authority of the C.D. Chesley Company. Any reproduction or use of this material without written consent is prohibited. The announcers on this program have been approved and contracted for by the C.D. Chesley Company. Second down and goal to go for Notre Dame. They have the ball at the Pittsburgh four-yard line. Rick Slager is the quarterback. Zurich and Heavens are the setbacks. Playing at the wing back right. Heavens got to the two yard line and just inside it before it was thrown back by Ed Wilamowski. That's a great, great defense on the right side for Pittsburgh. It's a Notre Dame offense. Ground level shot of Jerome Heavens. And he scored four touchdowns for their eyes this year. Good pursuit by that defensive pit. A standing right up. Take the strength away from his legs, and you can stop a fullback. Dennis Forehead. Just outside the one-yard line is the ball. Third down and goal to go. Pittsburgh 7, Notre Dame 3. And Pittsburgh takes a timeout. It is third down and goal to go. Notre Dame has the ball just outside the one-yard line. They're in a wing left. Harry Urich pulled in motion. And Heavens has it. He did not get in. He is pushed back at the goal line. He did not make it. It's going to be fourth down and goal to go. Don Parrish, Al Romano leading the defensive charge. So now, can the Irish get in? Can the Pitt Panthers stop them? Fourth down and goal to go. And now Notre Dame takes a timeout. Dan Devine of the Fighting Irish, well aware that we have a house full of old scouts here today, ready to extend an invitation to the winner of this game. Fourth down and goal to go, Notre Dame, inside the one-yard line. Slager, quarterback streak, touchdown! Slager took it in on the keeper. And went over his right side, Bernie Newton, Pat Cohen, and Steve Quayle. Let's watch the ground-level shot here. He went over the right side. I think he was thinking that they were going to go over Wujak's side as they normally would, the All-American left guard and the middle linebacker, Al Romano, kind of played it to that side a little bit. Now, well, Rich Slager filling in for Joe Montana, who was hurt. Uh, actually, Montana and Slager, you can't say one has been number one. They've both been starting quarterbacks. Slager's done an excellent job. Dave Reeve kicks the point, and the score is Notre Dame 10, Pittsburgh 7. Dave Reeves, the sophomore from Bloomington, Indiana, will kick off for Notre Dame. Elliott Walker, 34, Gordon Jones, 24 deep. Work in along the goal line. Reeves puts it up. It's into the end zone, across the end line. Another touchback. It'll be put in play first and 10 at the 20 yard line. So the Pitt Panthers, who drove the length of the field and scored when they got the opening kickoff, have it once again. And Kavanaugh, the man who took it in, number 12, is joining the huddle right there. Kavanaugh is a sophomore from Youngstown, Ohio. They didn't waste any time last time, Lindsay. They had it, took it 80 yards, three plays, 57 seconds. Took him to score. Gordon Jones is far to the right side. Far to the left side is the flanker. He's running the option play, not Kavanaugh. Here's the pitch. Stopped by Dorset. Free ball. And Pittsburgh has recovered. Not get control of the football. You saw number 74. There he is in the middle of your screen. He had a chance at the fumble recovery. Here's the pitch. Option left. Kavanaugh pitches back to Dorsey. 
it's good to find the handle on it. Doug Becker. Now watch Weston. He's got a shot. Also Willie Fry. There's just too many white shirts around there, Lyndon. They picked up eight yards on the play, a second down and two yards to go. Dorson Walker, the running back. Again, the pitch to Dorson. Trying to turn a corner left. He's got the first down. Look at him go to the 50. Got him back to the inside, 45, 40, 35, 30. Dorson, and Dorson's gone in for a touchdown. Another brilliant run. A brilliant run. 71 yards, Lindsay. Tony Dorsey displaying his All-American ability has broken it loose. He broke one in the first series of plays for 57 yards. They come back with the option right and watch Dorsey make a real good move here. And he shows his speed outside. He's going to go 71 yards. That's Tom Lopisky. He can't catch him. He gets a standoff block there and he's gone. 71 yards. He's carried the ball four times for 149 yards so far. Carson Long sails that one through there. A knuckleball that's good. As he got it through the upright. So as they come back up the field, the score is Pittsburgh 14, Notre Dame 10. Several plays later, with Notre Dame still in possession, the quarter ended with the score, Pittsburgh 14, Notre Dame 10. The best of Notre Dame football from the 1970s will return after these messages. And six for Notre Dame at the Pittsburgh 30 yard line as we start the second quarter. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning at Pitt Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Flager is the quarterback. Knocked back and popped it. His receiver was on the ground. He got blocked down at the line of scrimmage by number 21, James Wilson. Then McAfee, the intended receiver, that brings up a fourth and six. And it's bringing out. Dave Reeve, I believe. It is. He's going to try the field goal. This will be the uh, attempt of at a 47-yard field goal, Lindsay, but this time the win will be against him. Slager will hold for him. Slager holding. It's good. It's good. A 47-yard field goal into the win by Dave Reeve. And so the score as they come back up the field is Pittsburgh 14, Notre Dame 13. Now we move to further action. In the second quarter with 11 minutes, 55 seconds left, Restick's in deep punt formation. Gordon Jones and Dennis Moorhead are deep to receive the punt. It's taken by Moorhead at the 45. He fumbled! Notre Dame got it. At the Notre Dame 48 yard line, first and 10. Let's take it up. Big number 73, who is not listed on our numbering system here. Short kick, guy right in his stomach, and Notre Dame is on the football. In the next series of plays, Notre Dame was unable to move the ball, so they punted to Pittsburgh. We're in the second quarter. Pittsburgh is leading by a score of 14 to 13. Panthers have the ball first and ten at their own 20-yard line. Tight end Jim Corbett. Cabin on a Corbett. Now, let's see. Uh, Cavanaugh has had his man open. I've noticed one thing here in the first half on at least four occasions on first down. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Third down and eight yards to go. Cavanaugh. And it is completed, taken by Gordon Jones. Gordon Jones for a first down tip. Lisa Bradley made the tackle. Take a look here, good pass protection. Notre Dame front four unable to get to the quarterback. Good blocking up front. Cavanaugh steps up to the pocket. Gordon Jones with great speed. He's actually a world uh, class 440 man. Good block. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. Five receivers left and right. Kavanaugh with a pitch on the option. Taken by Walker. Elliot Walker with a 15. 45 40. Elliot Walker finally stopped at the 25 yard line of Notre Dame. Luther Bradley made the tackle. Uh, broke two tackles on the outside. Bob Golick was the second one in this team. Ground level shot. Walker. Watch Walker. 
breaks a tackle. The first one, I think, is the safety man, Randy Harrison, who comes up. That's Harrison. He misses him. Here comes Golick. Just got a little bit too much speed on the outside. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Third and eight, fifth. At the Notre Dame 23 yard line. Defensive rush that time really caused Kavanaugh to overthrow for pressure that time. He did have a quick release. Dorset so getting in a little resuscitation along the sideline there. He is from Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. 5'11, 183 pounder. The option play and Kavanaugh has closed off. His jump stock was right there, number 48. Carson Long will come in against Pittsburgh, against Notre Dame last year. He had a 52-yarder that bounded across after hitting the crossbar. He's one of the better field goal men in the trade. 11 for 14 in field goals attempted this season. And this will be a 42-yard attempt. Carson Long holds all the pit records kicking field goals. Two-yarder by Carson Long for the score. Well, here's Carson Long kicking the field goal, and he's been a great one here in Pittsburgh. He holds every record kicking in the history of Pittsburgh. Let's hit ahead 17 to 13. Carson Long will kick off for Pitt. Terry Urick and Dan Knott are deep for Notre Dame. Knott is waiting. Not has it the one yard line to the 5, 10, 15. Not to the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It spins his way up to the 48 yard line. A 47 yard return by Dan Knott. Notre Dame starts first and 10. Mike Balzer made the tackle. Dan Knott almost breaks it for Notre Dame. Good blocking. And Lindsay, the kickoff return has really given Notre Dame pretty good field position today. Dan not here. Got one man to beat. We move to further action with Notre Dame still in possession of the ball. Coach Johnny Major is on the phone now. We have four minutes, 55 seconds left in the first half. Pittsburgh 17, Notre Dame 13. First and 10, Notre Dame at the pit 29. Eurek is in motion. Browner has the ball. Browner has the ball pulled out. Campbell is on and Pittsburgh is recovered. Pittsburgh has recovered. Al Romano. Just an outstanding defensive play by Pitt left hand Randy Cousins. Little handoff right over the right side. Browner, he gets hit immediately. And that is Randy Cousins. He's got a hold of the foot, football, his arms and everything. We move to further action with Pittsburgh still in possession of the ball. Four minutes, four seconds left to play in the first half. Pittsburgh 17, Notre Dame 13. Second and seven for Pitt. Ball is just across the 50-yard line in Notre Dame territory. Pittsburgh sends Kavanaugh up there now at quarterback. Dropping back to throw. Screen over the Throws middle. The screen, and it's complete. Wide open is Rodney Clark. He's at the 20. Oh, I made Dorsett. It's Dorsett. Dorsett's gone. Dorsett it is, and he's gone all the way. Question there. One of the linebackers went to sleep on Tony Dorsett. Watch him. He's at the top here on the right. Sitting in his right halfback position. Everybody leaves. He goes right over the middle. And he's gone. Oh, he can fly, Lindsay. What a great, great running back. What needs a touch. The kick was good, and the score is now Pittsburgh 24, Notre Dame 13. Now we move to further action. Johnny Majors, head coach of the Pitt Panthers. Dan Devine, head coach of the Fighting Irish. We have seven seconds remaining to be played in the first half. Pittsburgh 24, Notre Dame 13. Third down and eight yards to go for Pitt. They have the ball at the Notre Dame 47 yard line. Gordon Jones to the right side. Willie Taylor to the left side. Walker and Dorsey to the setback. Kavanaugh has the ball. Intercepted at the 21 yard line by Lipinski. Lipinski back to the 35 40. And Lipinski is pulled down, and time has run out. Time has run out. 
That's the end of the first half here at Pitt Stadium with the score. Pittsburgh 24, Notre Dame 13. Notre Dame. Carson Long kicking off now for Pitt. Not in Eureka and deep. It's a long push carrying across the end line. It's a touchback and be put in play. First and 10, Notre Dame at the Notre Dame 20 yard line. Pittsburgh is leading by a score of 24 to 13 as we start playing the second half. This is Lindsey Nelson with Paul Horning at Pitt Stadium on a crisp, sunny afternoon. Rick Slager is the quarterback today for Notre Dame. Joe Montana with a finger injury, not available. Gary Forstek and Joe Restick are the backup quarterbacks for Notre Dame. They're in a wing left. Evans is the fullback. Urich is the wingback pulled in motion. Slager swinging it out to McLean and completed with the second and 10 at the 20-yard line. Randy Cousins covering there. He was open. It's a little bit uh, too open, I guess, Lindsay. She could have floated it right in there on a flood pattern right. Ken McAfee, the tight end, getting back to the huddle there. Paul Bertha is the referee assigned here this afternoon. Dave Huffman is the end of the far side as Notre Dame is playing a double tight end alignment. They have most of the day. it out to the 25-yard line before Ed Wilamowski made the tackle. It'll be third down and five yards to go. I get third and six. Spotted at the 24. Uh, the first half statistics way in the favor of Tony Darcy and company. 324 yards for Pitt, 106 for Notre Dame. Kelleher wide to the right side on third down. And it's batted down. Batted down, incomplete. Randy Holloway. Got there for our fifth. It's fourth down in the punting unit comes on. Paul, uh, in the first half, what did Dorset have officially? Well, let's see. Dorset only had 227 yards of running and catching the football. Broken down, he's averaging almost 18 yards a carry. He's carried it nine times for 161 yards. He's also caught two passes for 66 yards, and he scored twice and set up another one with a 57-yard run. Joe Rustic, punting for Notre Dame. You know, run back is going to be out of bounds down inside the 20-yard line. Now we move to further action. First and 10 outside the 32-yard line. Notre Dame in possession in pit territory. Wilder in motion. Penalty marker thrown over the head of Kelleher. Sails the ball, and... Wilson covering. Now there's a penalty to be checked out. Two men in motion again. It's against Notre Dame, of course, and Pitt has an option to exercise. Illegal motion. Watch the wing back. He starts to come in motion. Now the right half back is a little bit ahead of the count. Right, and that'll cost him five. We have two men in motion. It's an illegal shift. First and 15 for Notre Dame at the fifth 38 yard line. Pittsburgh is leading 24 to 13. Lane's in motion. Browner fumbles the football. Pittsburgh is recovered. Pitt has it at the 30-yard line. It was Larry Felton on the ball, recovering Browner's fumble. Pittsburgh defensive front four has been stopping this play right here, which is the bread and butter of Notre Dame's attack. They're tackling the football, the fullback. And Browner loses control of it, rolls into the secondary. Now we move to further action. So it is Joe Restick in deep hunt formation. Gordon Jones and forehead are deep for Pittsburgh. Going back is Gordon Jones. He feels the ball. He's at his five now. Across the 15 and at the sideline, still going. At the 50, 45, 35, 30. And finally pulled down at about the 18-yard line. Well, I said before the football game, watch this freshman, Gordon Jones. He can really fly. He just comes up with the best punt return we've seen all year long. Oh, he 
broke some tackles Lindsay here resting really gets off a beautiful pump drives him back inside the five yard line now he's hit two or three times here he breaks three tackles and he turns it off looks like he was going to go all the way here he had three four Pittsburgh ten now he should have waited for that block a little bit with his feet and just a diving touchdown saving tackle by hard fire from Notre Dame saved the touchdown. First and ten for Pitt. They held the ball at the 15 yard line of Notre Dame. Here's a pitch down taken by Tony Dorsey. Lipinski rides him out of bounds at the 13 yard line. Well, Notre Dame has been unable to stop the big play today. Boy, and that young man has got to be happy. Their scouting report, they have really done a job coming in here. They've broken everything. Big play. 57-yard run by Darson. 71-yard run by Darson. 49-yard touchdown pass to Darson. And now, 80-yard, 85-yard punt return. Second down and eight. Kavanaugh. It's the to Dorson inside the 10-yard line. Eastman made the tackle. Middle linebacker, Tom Eastman. Pick up a five on the play. It's going to be third and three for Pitt. Pitt is leading 24 to 13 in driving here in the third quarter with five minutes left to play in this period. Walker is the up back. Dorsett's the tailback. Kavanaugh Rose. Finally, he's gathered in by Willie Fry. It'll be fourth down now. Here comes Carson Long, the field goal man. Well, I might question that call. They only had about two and a half yards to go for the first down. Kavanaugh elected to throw it. Well, you got two backs. <laughs> Mike Walker, Darson. This will be a 30-yard field goal. Carson Long, the booter. It's good. It's good. There's a break in the action here at Pitt Stadium. With the score, Pittsburgh 27, Notre Dame 13. Carson Long kicking off now for Pittsburgh. Damn, not as deep. Not as retreating into the end zone. He's three yards deep. He's going to run it out to the goal line five to the 10 to the 15. To the 20 and across to the 23 yard line. Notre Dame will start their first and 10. Rick Slager coming out to quarterback the Irish. Rodney Clark made the last stop for Pittsburgh. Last year in the game played at South Bend, Notre Dame had to come from behind in the fourth quarter to beat the Pitt Panthers 14 to 10. Kelleher wide to the right side. You got it to the 25-yard line for two. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. Tom Perko made the stop. He's from Steubenville, Ohio. You have to put the football in the air, Lindsay. Running straight handoff, two touchdowns behind. It's not going to get you anything. They don't have the speed of the backs anyway to break away. Speediest of the backs, Al Hunter, is not here. He was left back in South then because of a hip pointer. Keller her wide to the right side. Claims the wing back right. Evans and Urich to the setbacks for Slager. Drops back to set up. There's a screen left. Urich advancing it up across the 30. Larry Felton. Up the screen left for Terry Yurick on the left side. A little fake screen right, a little play action over to the right. He looks right and it comes back. Good execution here. Good crack back block. And Yurick fights for the first down and he has it. We move to further action in the same series of plays. First and 10, Notre Dame at the 50-yard line. Kelleher, far left, the wing back is Yurick. Everton McLean of the setbacks for Slager. Retreats. Turn out to Kelleher. At the 43-yard line, between the 42 and 43, Larry Felton covering. But it's just outside the 42, where it's second down and a long two. Need a 
few big plays, Lindsey. Wing back right. Yurik and Heavens with the setback. Heavens, and he's through to the 30 and still going inside the 25. First and 10, Notre Dame. At the 22-yard line of Pittsburgh, Jeff Delaney brought him down. First time today, I think, that the Notre Dame offensive line came off the football, and Heavens really hits the hole quick. Watch his center. He went right by Romano that time. He guessed wrong. He went to the left, and Heavens went right to his left. First and 10, Notre Dame at the pit 22. One minute remaining to be played in the third quarter. McLean on the reverse, on the way back to first. Now Romano was there to cut him off. He didn't go the wrong way that time, did he? He didn't. Ed Romowski back in there, assisted on the tackle. I wonder why the recruiting has been better here at Pittsburgh. That's one of the reasons. Second down and 11 yards to go. Kelleher, wide right. Yurik and Heavens to set back. Yurik in motion. Going on the run, and it is Kelleher complete at the 10-yard line. Uh, Slager's warmed up. He's, uh, play selection in this series has been excellent. Play action, going to fake to the fullback, the man in motion. He's cutting back to the inside, holding the linebacker, almost gets caught from behind. He's got Kelleher on a short eight-yard square out. And he's right on target. First down and goal to go at the 10-yard line. 16 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Pittsburgh leading 27 to 13. First and goal. Slager has it. Goes and is taken in there by the tight end, Ken McAfee. Touchdown, Notre Dame, Ken McAfee. Now, uh, Rich Slager completed five passes in that drive. Out level, watch your good hands of big tight end Ken McAfee. Of course, his third touchdown of the year against the grain. Going to the right side, he comes back and he hits his tight end at ground level, makes a good catch and steps in for the TD. Here it is again. Big little scoop body right as they call it. Great catch by McAfee. Dave Reeve kicks the point and it's good. Well, as they come back up the field, it is Pittsburgh 27, Notre Dame 20. Notre Dame kicked off to Pittsburgh, and the quarter ended with Pittsburgh still in possession with the score, Pittsburgh 27, Notre Dame 20. More now we move to further action. We have 12 minutes, 20 seconds left to play. Pittsburgh leading by a score of 27 to 20. Here comes Haynes to the left side. Jen McAfee is out right. On a delay, and now it's Heaven. They changed his balance and got inside the 35 to the 33 before James Wilson brought him down. It'll be third down and four yards to go. Well, Lindsay, it's just about uh, like picking up six yards. He only picked up two, but he hit on a rollout draw. He could have lost two or three yards on it. He just fought his way up for a couple of yards. Picking up third, well, he did about three and a half. Bergmeyer is the receiver to the right side. McAfee went out. Bergmeyer came in. Chris Haynes far to the left. Third down and four yards to go. Big play on this game coming right now. Flager. There's a screen right. McLean has it. And he is cut down. Cut down by James Wilson. The cornerback from Cleveland, Ohio. It'll bring up fourth down. There was a loss of a yard on the completed pass. Let's take a look. Now watch. Mark McLean, he sets up on a screen right. Now it's complete. He actually slips down also. There's the completion. Here comes the cornerback up. See, he slipped. He could have cut back to the inside and got the first down. He slipped on the turf. They're going to try the field goal. It'll be about a 52-yard attempt by Dave Reeve with, with the wind at his back. A 52-yard attempt. And it's going to be short. Touchback, it'll be put in play first and then at the 20 yard line. We move to further action with Pittsburgh still in possession of the ball. First and 10 at the 17.
Option play. Works it again. He's at the five and going. He's out of bounds at the one yard line. Well, he well, he's the best we've seen all year, no question about it. Pick up a 16 on this play. Tony Dorsey. I don't know how many he is. Over 235 yards rushing on this play. He cuts inside. He's been getting great blocking from his fullback, Walker and Hutt. He breaks a couple there. And finally he's pushed out inside the five-yard line by Harrison. So it's first down and goal to go at the one-yard line. Walker and Dorsey to the running back. Quarterback sneak. Kavanaugh. Touchdown. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Down, they well have knocked Notre Dame out of the Cotton Bowl. What a beautiful executed series with Tony Darson just eating up all the yardage on the ground. He's, here's Kevin on the quarterback sneak. Right over his right guard. Tom Brazosa with the sophomore from Newcastle. Conversion attempt coming. Carson Long's going to try that. It's up, and it's good. And so, for the conversion good, the score is Pittsburgh 34, Notre Dame 20. Now we move to further action. So now Carson Long and the field goal unit come on for Pittsburgh. Dorsett's getting a hand as he comes off. Tony Norris is coming off. What a day he has had. Setting a new career record for himself. This will be a 31-yard attempt by Carson Long. It is blocked. It is blocked, the field goal attempt. So Notre Dame will take over. First and 10, they'll take it to the 35-yard line. Now we move to further action. First and 10. This is Walker. Harrison pulls him down at the 16. Pittsburgh's leading 34 to 20. That may very well have been the last play of the ball game. The Panthers of Pittsburgh simply waiting for the clock to run out now. They don't have to go back in a huddle. A victory for Johnny Major, his first ever. Johnny Major getting a ride off the field as they have defeated Notre Dame here this afternoon by a score of 34 to 20. We'll be back with Paul Horning and Coach Dan Devine in just a moment. We'll have the rest. And into uh, probably the best performance that a Pittsburgh team has had in years and years. Tony Dorsett got over 303 yards. Well, I'd have to see it to believe it, Paul. And he, uh, an outstanding back, and I'd have to congratulate him. At this point, of course, we're, you know, we're very disappointed, but you can't take any credit away from Dorsett. Uh, he's a story of the game. That's all there is to it. Uh, well, they made the big play. The first half, uh, they break the 71 yards for a touchdown. And Darcy uh, break the big play. You couldn't contain the big one today. No, I'm, as I said, I'm disappointed. I don't have any excuses or I thought our defensive people played hard. I thought our whole team did. Okay. Thanks a lot, Coach. We'll see you next.